today is Sunday and I have the day off of work so I thought that I would bring you guys along with me while I do a whole bunch of things that I need to because I don't have that many days off so errands time. Hey there. I thought I would share with you my to-do list for the day because I have a lot of things that I need to do. Like, a lot of things. Because I don't have a ton of days off. I only have two days off a week and on days when I'm working, I usually, like, if you've seen my morning routine, I don't really have time to do stuff in the morning if I want to, like, work out and eat. And then at night, I'm usually so tired that I don't feel like going anywhere. Sometimes I'll go like grocery shopping but that is maximum effort so on my days off i try to kind of maximize how many things i can do so here is my to-do list that i'm going to take you along to do okay so here's my to-do list for the day the first thing i want to do is do an ab workout and then i need to do my dishes and then I need to do all of my like actual running errands. So I need to go to the farmer's market and get some like fruits and veggies that are fresh and local. Shop local when you can. Uh, and then I need to go to Tops for things that I cannot buy local. And then I want to go to Manny's, which is an art supply store in town. Then, I, when I come home, I need to film some stuff today, so I want to film a cover, and then I also have a haul that I've been meaning to film for like a hot minute. And then I need to just do some tidying up, I need to finish hanging up wall stuff in my room, and also putting away jewelry because it's just been sitting in a bag since I moved. Then I need to put away my laundry and kind of tidy up. I need to meal prep for the next couple of days. And then I want to do my nails and face masks. Oh, you can't see. Nails, face masks, etc. So that is it for today's to-do list. My hair looks so cute right now. I just took out of a ponytail, but I'm just like, oh, she cute. My hair is getting so long and it's making me so excited. I chopped all of my hair off in like 2017. Like I literally had like the sides buzz, like I had no hair. So having my hair touch my shoulders is like wild. I straight up have not had hair this long since 2017. <laughs> So the sports bra is from Fabletics and these shorts are Fila. Today is supposed to be a rest day for me, but I stopped having coffee recently and I found that workouts like really energize me in the morning. Now if I work out in the morning and don't have coffee, just have a lot of water, I'm fine. I'm sure once the school year starts, I'm probably gonna go back to drinking a ton of coffee. But you know, I'll I'll take little breaks for my body where I can get them. So I'm gonna work out now. Here we go. All right, I finished my workout, drank my water, and then sat and scrolled through Instagram for like 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go hop in the shower, and then I'm gonna go to the farmer's market and get breakfast there, because I'm pretty much out of most foods and I really don't want eggs, because I actually hate the taste of eggs so much, and I only eat them for the protein, and that's just not a way to live. Okay, before I take a shower, I'm like starving, so I'm gonna eat some watermelon. Why is watermelon literally the best fruit? Nothing like it, kids. Nothing like it. Hello. So, last time that I, or when I filmed my morning routine, I talked about how I was getting stuff in from the ordinary and I wasn't there yet, but I wanted to film blah, blah, blah. Anyways, they're in. So, even though I already had like a skincare thing on 
my morning routine. This is basically the same type of skincare, just different products. Hey there guys, so I was gonna talk about my whole morning skincare routine and then I realized that it was really redundant because I literally just posted a morning routine and a sustainable self-care haul. The morning routine shows my whole skincare routine and basically the only difference between my old skincare routine and this one is the products. Like it's the same order of stuff, same amount of things. And so it feels really redundant while I'm trying to edit this. And so I'm just gonna put it on fast forward. You guys can go watch those two videos if you want to see my skincare routine. Okay, I only have five minutes of memory left on this card, so I don't think that I'm gonna record my whole makeup thing. This is my before makeup face. I'm going for a kind of like dreamy fairy -y aesthetic because of the dress that I want to wear today. So this is before. For you after. Hi, so this is the finished makeup look. Oh wait, actually I need to do setting spray. I love this stuff because it smells like lemons. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. So yeah, this is the final look. I have a bunch of sparkles on my eyelids. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know why this keeps going out of focus, but I'm gonna go get changed now so that I can go because it's 11. It took me like 20 minutes to do my makeup because I was watching YouTube videos. Usually it takes me like 10 minutes but you know we're out here i don't know if i'm gonna take my hair down i kind of like this little messy bun thing i got going on see you guys in a sec all right i literally look so extra i don't even know oh wait i actually so good i've been like working out so much lately and i feel like i haven't really seen it but i feel like i look really really good in this dress i'm feeling myself i look like a little fairy i'm also looking in the mirror right now that's why i'm looking away okay okay she cute Wow, I literally look like a fairy. I'm kind of obsessed. So this dress, I think it's from PacSun. I got this when I was like a freshman in college, I wanna say like the summer before freshman year. So this, I'm sure that they don't carry it anymore. Um, I think the brand is like LA Hearts or something, but I really like it. It's like sheer in the back. It's gonna put on my necklaces that I wear all the time. Sorry, I'm like in the middle of watching like a Visco girl transformation video. So I feel like I'm talking weird because in my brain I'm in that video. Also, I feel like it's weird that I just have a Mr. Rogers poster, but it's from, if you watch my New Year's Eve vlog, which you should because it was a fun vlog, but the show that we went to, it was like, let me be your neighbor theme. It was love your neighbor theme. So this is a local Rochester artist made this poster. So he watches me sleep now. It's kind of creepy. I'm not sure if he's going to stay up because as much as I love that poster, I don't love waking up in the middle of the night and be like, Ugh! so, all right, here's my final look. Wow. Look how cute this is. Oh wait, and then I'm gonna find these sandals. Foot fetish people, please fuck off. But yeah, I love this dress. I haven't felt good in this dress since like sophomore year. So I'm pretty hype right now. I feel like a skinny legend, wow. Also, I'm definitely gonna keep my hair up in this like little messy bun. Also, how cute is this little Polaroid wall? Time to go grocery shop. This is the most extra fucking outfit to go grocery shopping in ever. So this is what we're gonna do for right now. There's this little place, it's called the Farmer's Market, but it's there all the time. I'm off to go there. I've got my reusable bags. Me and my roommate share them. She has all of them right now, except for these three. So I hope that all of my groceries can fit in three bags this week. The county that I live in, Ulster County, just banned plastic bags, which is great. I just almost forgot these and I had to like run out of the house because now you can buy paper bags, I believe. But like they straight up are not allowed to like have them with like an upcharge or anything. Like it straight up is like no plastic bags, they're banned. Which the town that I live in, like the town of New Paltz has had them banned for a while, but now it's like the whole county. They're trying to do it in all of New York State, which is great. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna have you there while I drive because it's covering my speedometer and I'd like to know if I'm speeding. I just finished up at the farmer's market. I didn't get any footage because I felt weird because it was really empty. But next, I don't know what I'm gonna do because the art shop only opened like 15 minutes ago. So I feel weird being like right in there. But honestly, I'm probably just gonna go to the art shop. I wanna start doing like an art journal. So I wanna get a notebook that's good for that. And I also wanna try out gouache, which is like a type of watercolor, but it's like more pigmented. So I wanna pick up a couple of those and maybe like actual good paintbrushes, not the trash that I've been using that was like $10 for 100 paintbrushes. But I am off now. So I am back in my car. I didn't get any clips in the art store because there's like a bunch of people in there. And I didn't get any clips, but I went to see my friend at the bookstore that she works at. Um, 
Okay. I'm going to eat my sushi. Look how cute these little chopsticks are. They got little bucky cats on them. I got them from this place called Arkhamaj in Rochester. There's my sushi. I'm gonna use a bunch of wasabi, but it's tuna, avocado, roll. So yeah, that's my lunch. And I'm also gonna have some water. But also while I'm eating, I'm gonna look at my to-do list, check off stuff that I've already done, probably like watch a YouTube video or something. So I just need to go through my gay agenda. Matthew and Kat got this for me for my birthday slash graduation. And it's like the cutest thing. I literally use it every time I have to make a to-do list because it's great. Also, I feel like I look really cute at this angle and I'm just really feeling myself today. Also, when I was getting my water, I remember that I didn't take my meds today. So this is your reminder to take your meds if you haven't today. We did the ab workout, went to the farmer's market, went to Tops, went to Manny's. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is my dishes and then I'm gonna film stuff. Yeah, so dishes is next because I'm responsible and I need to do them really, really, really bad. This apron is literally the cutest thing that I own. It's all of my, it's the east side of Rochester? Yeah, so it's like where I'm from. It's cute, it's got a lot of my favorite places on it. So yeah, I don't wanna splash dirty water all over this dress. All right, gonna do dishes now, woohoo. All right, dishes are all done. Later, I'm gonna meal prep, so I'm gonna just have to put away all the dishes before I do that, because otherwise it'll be bad. So next, I'm really liking this podcast, so I think I'm gonna do this next, so I can like finish hanging stuff up and then do other things, but yeah, I think that that'll be good. Okay, I just hung up all of these little necklaces on the wall. I'm like obsessed with this corner. This is my like extreme aesthetic corner. This looks so cute. These are the necklaces that I don't wear that often, so they're good for like displaying because I don't wear them. Hello, my sushi before wasn't super spilling, so I'm having some raviolis. Also, it's been like two hours since I last ate, whatever. I'm just eating because I'm hungry. But I've been like cleaning up my room and hanging stuff up for the last two hours. I took a break to take pictures and then was like, oh, I'll make my bed. And then I like stripped my sheets and decided to do laundry and all this stuff. So it's, I didn't end up taking pictures, but you know, we're out here and I haven't really finished hanging stuff up or put away my laundry, but I have cleaned up my room a lot, but that wasn't on my to-do list. So I can't really check anything off. Honestly, I don't know where my laundry's gonna go because my dresser is completely full. I really need to do like a full closet reorganization so maybe i'll do that next week yeah i don't think i'm gonna actually put away my laundry because also the only clothes that i've been wearing are swimsuits this dress and workout clothes because all i've been doing is working and working out so it be like that i'm gonna eat my raviolis i'm deeply obsessed with this podcast now i'm on episode two which like each episode is like over an hour long so i'm really in it now So my roommate got home a lot earlier than I was expecting her to. So I ended up just starting my art journal a little bit, which I think I got clips of. And she just left at a grocery store. So while she's gone, clearing off my bed so that I can record my cover. And what's really nice is she's also doing laundry tonight. So I can just wait to do my laundry when she's doing her laundry, which is fun and cute. Ruby goals. When I signed up for the LSAT and bought this and was like, I'm gonna be a lawyer now. It's just like 20 cases that changed America landmark decisions by the Supreme Court. Ugh, girls, what's up? Men need not apply. <laughs> I don't even know if this looks cute. It doesn't. Is this like the start of a weird porn? I'm gonna get off my butt now, okay. So I just finished recording my cover. You want some redemption? I ended up taking down some of the necklaces because I like the look of this more. So it's just like these gold and like pearly necklaces and then like little beret. And there's me. I'm obsessed with this mirror. This is the Eastman School of Music. My room is literally so cute and I'm very excited to do a room slash apartment tour. I think I'm gonna go record my haul now before my roommate gets back. most gorgeous avocado. I'm like, is it gonna focus? Wow. This literally looks like a model avocado. 
amaricado. I'm making guacamole. I just put up these lights and my old race bibs and these lights and my room is like almost done. I will definitely be doing a room tour sometime soon. Oh, I still need to put up the paper lantern, but I don't know where. Hey there, so it's time. I procrastinated doing laundry all day because I was gonna do it with my roommate, but she just fell asleep on the couch, so. It's laundry time, but it's letting to wash my sheets and I already put them in my dirty laundry and I don't have a spare pair because I left them at home before I moved in, so that's fun and cute. Wow, my makeup still looks really good. I'm kind of surprised because it was like a gajillion degrees. Is she creasing? Little bit, little bit. Just going through what I had left. I filmed my cover, filmed my haul, finished hanging up stuff, I meal prepped, and I didn't do my nails yet. That's all that I have left. Sorry I'm being super quiet. My roommate is asleep on the couch back there and I don't want to wake her up. But I have another like 45 minutes or so before my laundry is done. So I think I'm going to journal a little bit and do my nails. So I'm checking off the last thing on my list and I finished my list. Now I've just got to finish doing my laundry, which I have got 10 more minutes left before my laundry is done. So I'm probably going to finish watching this YouTube video and then go pick that up from the laundry room and go to sleep. Oh, or I could wash my face and brush my teeth in those 10 minutes. Nice. Hello, it's the end of the day. Okay, my necklace is so tangled up. I just want to take them off, but since I'm wearing makeup today, I'm going to use a different face wash than I normally use. Oh shit, I gotta get my laundry. So I guess I'm not going to wash my face yet. I got my laundry and now it's time to wash my face. What is, I guess I gotta face my light wall, but I'm about to go to sleep and I'm just reflecting on my day a little bit. I feel really, really good at the end of this day. Like I feel really accomplished. I think that sometimes I do this thing where I have a day where I don't have like anything to do. So I make this really, really long to-do list and then I beat myself up over not achieving everything, even though I know that I make the list being like, there's no way I'm gonna get to all of this, but I'm gonna feel sound like so preachy. But like, since I started working out routinely, I feel like I've genuinely had like a lot more energy. Like I've been working out six days a week for the last four weeks. So that's like a month of working out. And I just feel like literally this morning I like got up and did an ab workout instead of having coffee. And I was like totally fine and like had a really good day. And I was going all day. <sighs> like I filmed, including this video, three videos today on one day off. And I don't know, I just feel really good and just happy with how my life is right now i mean i wish i wasn't working so much because i wish i had more days like this to get things done and like be a person but it felt really nice to just like take some time to like catch up on myself so i watched the first episode of queer eye there's this part of the first episode where kathy i think her name is that they're making over she says that she like skipped the chapter of me and like the book of her life and just like hearing like that and being like don't skip the chapter of me just really felt I don't know it just felt like really like it really resonated with me and so I feel like for the last month just like working out and eating healthy like writing the chapter of me like not even reading it just like writing it I just feel really good and I'm really proud of myself for actually getting through my entire to-do list today because it was a lot of stuff that I needed to get through and yeah thanks so much for watching this video and bearing with me i'm glad that i'm like posting a lot more lately and that i have like the energy and the drive to be posting more so thanks so much for watching i will see you guys again soon make sure you subscribe thank you guys so much for watching yeah bye Watch you drink your orange juice, you're as good as super food. Drop my phone.